Last week on Talking Politics, we told you about an advocacy group in Washington, D.C. that was working to keep Donald Trump from being on the primary ballot in Colorado. The group, called Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, filed a lawsuit last Wednesday. It seeks to disqualify Trump by citing the 14th Amendment's ban on insurrectionists holding public office. Tonight, we take a closer look at that challenge and similar ones happening in other states. Let's start by looking at what the 14th Amendment actually says. It has several parts, but this is the part some groups are citing as a reason for Donald Trump to be removed from the ballot. Now, this is paraphrased. No person shall hold any office who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. This week, a group of voters in Minnesota cited the 14th Amendment in its lawsuit to remove Trump from the ballot. Similar challenges have been filed in Florida and Michigan. They all point to the former president's involvement in the January 6th riot and his efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election. The Minnesota lawsuit states Donald J. Trump, through his words and actions, after swearing an oath as an officer of the United States to support the Constitution, engaged in insurrection or rebellion or gave aid and comfort to its enemies as defined by Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. So who decides if Donald Trump or any other candidate should be removed from the ballot? The Minnesota Secretary of State said he does not have legal authority to investigate a candidate's eligibility for office. Other secretaries of state across the nation are voicing their agreement. The 14th Amendment, if you look at the language, is it's a prohibition against holding the office. It says nothing about the election process. And and so even if it applied to the election process, it would be more appropriate on a general election ballot uh, where the nominees are across the board in every state in the country. Um, you know, right now we're in the delegate selection mode. Uh, those delegates will go to the national convention and anything can happen there. Um, and so I, I just think that this is not the place to be uh, going through this exercise. Who is the decider of whether or not an individual has quote unquote committed insurrection or given aid and comfort to those who have? You can't put the power into one individual or even a small handful. Like I said, the only other way to remove somebody from the ballot is a two thirds vote of the United States Senate. The American people would accept that outcome. But the American people as a whole and a large section of them would freak out if all of a sudden there's individuals or small groups who can remove a person from the ballot. The Minnesota lawsuit insists the Secretary of State does have authority to take action. It's seeking a court order declaring Trump disqualified and directing the Secretary to keep Trump's name off the primary and general election ballots. We will let you know how those court battles play out.